Hey guys, what's up? It's PlasmaSnake13 here again with another episode of Minecrafting Win. Um, in the background you're going to hear uh, some calming music, and I think this is a very calming series. And uh, as you can see here, it's absolutely dragon-free, which leads to more calming things. <laughs> uh, seriously, um, the background music that you're going to be hearing uh, in the rest of the series, as well as you've heard before, is uh, music by the creators. The music of the game This. Uh, is all the music that's in the game, and I just kind of run it in the background uh, to keep things nice, and uh, it's peaceful, and, I, uh, and uh, I definitely like it. So, let's get started. So this week, I'm going to be touching on the topics of building blocks. Building blocks are exactly what they sound like. Building blocks are basically what you see around you. As you can see, I've made my house out of wood, stone, and glass. This is a combination of building blocks, but we'll get into that in a second. The first thing that I'd like to talk to you guys about is uh, a little thing that I've done for this little episode. Uh, it, as you can see over there, I've got the examples here. Um, to get these items, uh, you know, quickly, efficiently, and um, effectively, <laughs> I basically use an inventory editing system uh, to get these items. Let me just kill this big because you are very loud when you're in the water. So uh, I'll go in more depth uh, about inventory editing systems later, but for now I just uh, want to talk to you about each building block. So we're going to do these in order. Uh, effectiveness, pros, cons, uh, different things like that. So let's start with wood. Now wood is probably the first one that you're going to get into at the very beginning. Wood is what you get from trees, obviously, wooden planks, and you can just place them down like normal. And uh, it's going to be your basic, you know, wooden cabin like I have uh, up on my mountain here. Now, there's some pros to wood, which is, you know, it looks very nice. Uh, I think a, a lot of the buildings, uh, a lot of the part of building buildings is the fact that uh, aesthetics matter a whole lot. And which is why I built mine on an awesome mountain. You know, I've got like a nice wooden cabin, and it's good. And so uh, aesthetic-wise, it's a, it's a pretty good choice. Uh, the downside to this is, first of all, you have to... Trees are not limited, but they're limited within your area, which means you have to go farther and farther each time to get more and more wood. Luckily, you can get a lot per log, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. God damn, why are there so many... Uh, another downside to wood is, well, uh, just watch. Probably not a great thing if you have lava or anything that could possibly come in... Con oh, dear God. Oh, sh shit. And that, my friends, is a perfect example why you do not use wood. Okay, it's great for the beginning, but for the most part, you're going to want to stray away from wood, especially if you're in any contact at all with fire. So the second one you're probably going to use is cobblestone. Cobblestone is very easy to get. As soon as you start building your mine like I have, you're going to see... You know, you know, you're going to be getting a huge amount of cobblestone. What can you use it for? You can use it for building. It's got kind of a darkish, um, castly look, which is a great way uh, to kind of get that nice uh, old feeling. You know, if you look up here, it doesn't look that bad from a distance. It looks kind of complicated though, and that's the downside to cobblestone is that it's a little bit dark and it's a little bit complicated. No matter what texture pack you're going to get, you're going to get quite a complicated, uh, you know, texture to it, and it doesn't really look that great from afar. And so, this is this gets solved with smooth stone. Smooth stone is what you see underground and what you mine, which turns into cobblestone when you mine it. But basically what smooth stone is, is uh, you get it by taking cobblestone, putting it in a furnace, and uh, basically cooking it. Like you'd cook meat or sand to make glass, uh, you'd cook cobblestone to make smooth stone. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense, but uh, you had to get it somehow. And so you can get smooth stone. What smooth stone does is, obviously, if you look at these two side by side, I'm sure some of you will prefer this because it's a little bit darker. But for the most part, you know, this is a nice, smoother look. And I know, especially in the original Minecraft texture pack, you know, this looks a lot nicer than the cobblestone. Now, here's a little different one, and not a lot of people use this. And this is the uh, bricks. Now, bricks are quite hard to get. Clay is hard to come by. It turns into one brick. A couple of bricks makes a block and basically it's really really hard to get um, but as you can see when you actually make it it looks quite nice the uh, bricks look quite nice so if you can manage to get your hands on uh, clay or if you use the uh, inventory edit like I'm going to be talking about in a little bit it can actually be quite a nice addition and uh, 
and it looks really, really nice. I 100% will suggest to you not to make a glass house because if you're to look at the sprites here, it looks like there's just an outline, you know. There's there's one block here and there's nothing through it. Well, as you can see there on the side, it is a full cube. There's no blocks missing. It's exactly like the other ones. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get lost a lot of times. Uh, and it might have a cool effect once, but after that, it, again, like you're just going to get lost and it's going to become kind of ridiculous. Uh, glass is essential though because as you can see in my house, it's actually quite, you know, a huge part of stay seeing outside without being in any danger because it's a perfect way to look outside, see if there's any monsters during the night or whether or not you want to go out, and uh, not be, they can't destroy glass and you can see perfectly through it. So it's a, it's a great, it's pretty much essential. Now, if you haven't already figured out, nor did you see my previous tutorial, you get glass by taking sand, just regular sand, and uh, burning it in the furnace, and what that'll get you um, a nice, healthy amount of glass. Now, dirt is an interesting one, because uh, a lot of people were talking to me last time about dirt being a good building substance, and why didn't I just use dirt? Why not use wood? Um, the reason why I don't use dirt personally is because I'm kind of OCD, you know, Dirt doesn't really look that good. Have you, can you imagine building your house with dirt? It doesn't look good at all. It looks like, you know, outside. The only way I would suggest using dirt is at the very beginning and then replacing it later, unless it's your thing. Again, it's this Minecraft is all about your own creativity. So if you want to build a house of dirt, then go right ahead. And so yes, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend dirt unless you really want to. Uh, there's also a downside to dirt as a floor. You know, I haven't really talked about floors before, but this is actually uh, the only uh, material that I would 100% not recommend as a floor. The reason being, when you put dirt on the ground and it's exposed to sunlight and you know it's open like this, it's obviously going to turn into grass. Grass looks very nice and you know it, it would look kind of cool as a carpet, but the only problem to this is that animals spawn at night on grass, which means that you're going to wake up, you're going to sit in your bed and you're going to sleep and it's going to be all nice and you're going to wake up and suddenly there's like 50 cows staring at you and you're like, what the hell, what are they doing in my house? You have to kill them all. You know, you might prefer that, but personally, it gets annoying after a little bit, and uh, is generally not a very nice thing to have. So, if anything, you know, you're going to build your house in dirt. If anything, make sure you put your floor as cobblestone as I have done above on my house. Right here, you can see I've got a house of sandstone. Now, sandstone is a fairly new addition to Minecraft, and basically what it is is it's uh, a type of sand that doesn't fall. If you know Minecraft particularly well, you'll notice that if you place sand, it will fall to the lowest point. Um, like, you know, real sand, and it's kind of a cool addition to have uh, along with gravel. Um, but it's kind of hard to build with. So what they've done is they've made something called sandstone, which can be placed in the air as you can see here. Now sandstone is a really cool thing if you do it in the desert. I mean, it'll look kind of out of place, and who knows, maybe that's your thing, you want to do something special uh, with sandstone. But personally, uh, sandstone should be used in the desert to make it look really good. Uh, again, this is all aesthetics. Uh, Building-wise, there is nothing that different uh, from just smooth stone or brick or anything like that. It doesn't fall, it doesn't burn, you know, it, it's basically all good. Now, it's getting dark out, uh, getting kind of late, uh, so I feel like I should wrap up this video. Keep in mind that there is many, many other uh, things that you can build with. Experiment and try different things. Most of all, have fun being creative with it. Uh, I've just given you the pros and cons, you know, just the general things that you might want to be aware of, like the dirt or the uh, logs being able to catch on fire. But for the most part, just experiment with your uh, ideas and uh, have fun. Now, a couple of quick notes before I go. First of all, I talked about Inventory Edit. Uh, I'm going to have a link below for, to where you can download uh, Inventory Edit, which is basically a program which can give you infinite items of any item that you want, as you can see here. Uh, you might want to watch a couple of tutorials on it, and it's great for videos uh, of, the sort, of this sort, or, um, you know, creating big structures that normally would take hours and hours. Let me just uh, warn you, Minecraft bases itself around the fact that you do a lot of work and you get, you know, the equivalent amount of reward. You know, all this wood, all this stuff that I placed down is not inventory edited. All of this stuff I did myself. I went out, got this wood, made it, put it down, and because of that, it's that much more satisfactory. If you use an inventory edit system, you may say to yourself, oh, it's okay, you know, I'll appreciate it. But the fact is, it does get more boring 
because you've used it. I've used it, and that's what made me bored of Minecraft, because I had whatever the hell I wanted at my fingertips. So be very careful to only use this, and use it wisely, because part of the fun of Minecraft is the, you know, hardness of getting these materials, you know, the, the rarity of gold and diamond, and the, uh, you know, fun of, you know, going down there and finding them, and going, oh, wow, I have this little... I have this little amount of diamonds, so be very careful with the inventory edit. As always, I have my texture pack and uh, and my save file in the description below, so make sure you go check those out and uh, download them if you want. I've also got tutorials linked and uh, other things like that. And uh, if you have any more questions about this series, then feel free to comment below. Uh, that's it for this episode of Minecrafting Win. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. above on my house because it's definitely gonna are you kidding me